Welcome to How to Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's explain healthy Yu-Gi-Oh! mindset. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the sort of mindset that you should have when playing Yu-Gi-Oh! What, what I like to call a healthy mindset for playing Yu-Gi-Oh! And as your sensei here, it is important that you follow these, these codes of conduct so that you cannot get tired of playing this game. Anyways, with that being said, let's get on with the rest of this video. So let's start with the first point, that Yu-Gi-Oh! is a hobby, okay? And being as such, as a hobby, you should be playing this game to enjoy yourself, to get yourself out of the stress that is your life. It should not become your job. You should not take this game seriously. A hobby is not a game you should be taking really, really seriously. It is there for you to unwind. Even if you want to be the best, you should be enjoying yourself. Remember, Yu-Gi-Oh! is a hobby, not a job. Do not take it that seriously. And as a, such, because it's a hobby, make sure to take regular breaks from it when you don't feel comfortable playing the game. This is not something that should be forced upon you. Again, this is a, an activity that you do because you enjoy it. And when you're enjoying the game, play it as a form of enjoyment. Myself, when I'm playing Yu-Gi-Oh, I always make sure that I enjoy the game I play. And when I find that it's giving me uh, quite a bit of stress or there's some formats I don't like, I take some breaks. I leave the format for a bit and then I come back later when I see a format that I like and play that format. I don't indulge in negativity. I don't indulge in the stressful areas of the game because again, why should I indulge in them? Because this is a hobby, this is not a job. And that is the way you need to see Yu-Gi-Oh! As I'm going to be taking you on this ride, on this journey, as your Yu-Gi-Oh! Sensei, I need to change your mindset of this is a hobby, not a job, and treat it as such. The correct mindset can give you the correct ability to not see Yu-Gi-Oh! as such a chore. It shouldn't be a chore. Okay, that's it. Let's move on to the next point. The next thing is your attitude. Indeed, the attitude you have towards Yu-Gi-Oh! is important. The best thing for a healthy mindset in Yu-Gi-Oh! is best to have a positive attitude, to have an open-ended attitude. Have an attitude that is positive. Have an attitude that is willing to learn things. That is the correct mindset to have in Yu-Gi-Oh! There's a lot of things in Yu-Gi-Oh! that, or in just in other hobbies in general, that you may not like, but having a positive attitude towards it can make it bearable. And again, remember, your attitude determines how you interact with the game itself. Not really much I've got to say here, but a great attitude is fantastic for you to have while playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's move on to the next point. Okay, and we have our next point, exploration. Be willing to explore in Yu-Gi-Oh! There's a saying that I like to use in Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, every card in Yu-Gi-Oh! is a good card. It, the only reason why cards aren't played is because they haven't been found by the appropriate player. The point of the matter is, is that there is no bad cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! Only the usage of said cards are not been explored yet. Be willing to explore, be willing to give chances or to give effects that seem trash or that seem um, completely nonsensical. Give them a chance, give it a go. Remember, it is through exploration, it is through giving cards chances, it is through exploring these unseen avenues that we find the gems and that we find the broken tech that is Yu-Gi-Oh! Always be willing to give cards a chance. This is one of the things, I, as your Yu-Gi-Oh! Sensei, I find that this community is severely lacking. 
uh, that they are not willing to explore. They are not, you are not willing to look at what is out there. A lot of times, as you Yu-Gi-Oh Sensei, I've been saying so much on this channel that we do have going second cards. They do exist. A lot of them are there. There's a lot of options that are available that are cheap in our current sets right now. But does anyone take the time of day to look at these obscure cards? Does anyone have the, take the time of day to just explore and see what's out there in Yu-Gi-Oh? Of course they do not. And that is your job as you're, as you're new to Yu-Gi-Oh! As you, and as a Yu-Gi-Oh! Sensei, I implore you to explore. I implore you as your Sensei to look what's out there. Because when you see what's out there in Yu-Gi-Oh! When you traverse the Yu-Gi-Oh! planes, you will see that there are very interesting effects and there are very interesting things that Yu-Gi-Oh! has to offer. You only have to look and you only have to explore. An open mind is a great mind in Yu-Gi-Oh! in my opinion. So, make sure you have an open mind. Let's go move on to the next point. And here we have this point, which is collective positive discussions. Indeed, Yu-Gi-Oh! has a reputation. A reputation of negativity. And as you Yu-Gi-Oh! sensei, if we are going to break this negative cycle, if we are going to break the stereotype, then let it starts with our attitude. It starts with the discussions we have in this game. Let them be collectively positive. Try in when you're playing the game to have positive discussions. Try as much as you can and we have to work harder than every other community, every other card gaming community. We have been slacked, we have been put aside as the toxic community out of every single other card game. That means we have to work 10 times harder. That means that we have to foster discussions that are positive. That means we have to work harder to make sure that 90% of our discussions are positive. Why do I say this? Why is it important? Because if we continue along this path of negative discussions, of negativity, then attracting new players to this game is extremely difficult. It's a hard sell. Remember, we don't have anything in this in, in Yu-Gi-Oh. We don't have great pricing. We don't a lot of things are severely lacking from Konami. The only thing we have is the community. This is the only thing we have. I say this, I plead to you as your Yu-Gi-Oh Sensei. So make sure that your collective discussions within the community are positive. This is the only time we can save face to showcase to the rest of the world that we are not a bad bunch, that we are actually a positive influence in the card gaming circuit. And if we are to grow, if we are to break the barriers, then we must, as a collective, have positive discussions when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh! I really have a hope that point. Let's move on to the next point, if there is any. Yes, and this is another thing I want to mention, sportsmanship. Try to be a sportsman in Yu-Gi-Oh! I always, as Yu-Gi-Oh! Sensei, I always try to do this. I always try to be a sport. I treat Yu-Gi-Oh! as a sport and I showcase that sportsmanship. I, I always try and make sure that I read my effects loud and clear. I make sure to explain everything in a loud and clear way. I use the way the anime uh, expresses how they do their effects. I do the same thing. Make sure everything is clear and concise, okay? Remember, sportsmanship is important. Yes, even in a competitive setting, you do have to win, that is true, but you don't have to be a dick about it. It is about how you treat other people. Sportsmanship is something we need in Yu-Gi-Oh! And it's something that is severely lacking. In fact, I've rarely seen any uh, sportsmanship behavior. I think the only time we saw it was with that Dragon Link player a few ye years back on stream. But the point is that sportsmanship is so lacking in Yu-Gi-Oh! right now. And it's our moral duty as players of this game to promote sportsmanship for a healthy Yu-Gi-Oh! mindset. 
And that's it. Let's head on to the conclusion. And here we have the conclusion. Okay. So these are the points that you need to instill in yourself, in my eyes anyways, a Yu-Gi-Oh Sensei, to have a healthy Yu-Gi-Oh mindset. It is important to take regular breaks from Yu-Gi-Oh. Do not put your sole focus on this game. You have to remember that this is a hobby, not a job. I want to repeat this again. Yu-Gi-Oh is a hobby, not a job, and should be treated as such. Do not take this game seriously. Even if you're playing at the highest level at the end of the day, this should not be a game that you're spending 90 hours or more time on it. Now, I'm not saying that you can't enjoy yourself and dunk your time into this. What I am saying is that you need to play smarter, not harder. Do you understand what I mean by this, students? Exactly. Play smarter. Don't play harder. Playing smarter is better for your health, better for your well-being, and better for you as a whole. That's the first point I want to say. And another thing I want to say is that when keeping discussions positive and when having an open mind, you can begin to see the fruits that Yu-Gi-Oh offers. The cards and sets can be fascinating and interesting and you can explore all the card effects that are there. Again, it's important to have an open mind. It is important to collectively promote positive discussions and it is also important that sportsmanship is promoted as well with all these things under your tool under your belt well as i like to say you will be not just one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh master you'll be one step closer to becoming a decent human being and that is what we need right now in this world with that being said well that's the end of the video we come to the end of this video. So, as I like to say, you are one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. My fate, right, is in your hands.